First of all, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what you do. Okay, my name is Mark Forrest. I am from, grew up here in New Hampshire, um, born and raised. I uh, haven't traveled much. Um, I work for Italian Action Group, uh, which is part of three companies. So the owner, Sean Owens, owns this commercial printer. He also owns We Do, which is a quite a large marketing agency in the area. And he also owns Granite River, which is a video production company. So the combination of the three companies um, is where we kind of produce all our work. Um, so as a, as a print, we're, we're actually just starting an initiative to kind of uh, market to franchises and try and bolster that part of our print industry. We think uh, the Infigo sites are perfect for that. We currently have one franchise up there, Teaspoon Life, which is a kind of like a, a, a ski version of Starbucks. Um, really great story. I think they've started three years ago. Um, when they came on board with us two years ago, they had 20 locations and now they're okay. closing in on 40. So, and we've, we've, through the site, we've serviced all of those. So if there's a grand opening, um, if there's a soft opening and throughout the year, they'll log in, all the franchisees will log in to our Infigo storefront and, uh, order their products and we print ship. So for us, we are very much B2B. Okay. Um, and we currently are running our Infigo sites departments. Um, so we, we have a bunch of B2Bs in a B2C shell kind of thing. Okay. Uh, and, and that can be challenging at times. <clears throat> but um, what, what, what's important for us is the API. We use Tharstern. Uh, so we, we have an uh, Infigo Tharstern API. Uh, mm -hmm. That's our marriage right now. Um, we run a Printex system. So we're utilizing JDF. Uh, so moving products as efficiently through Infigo in through our MIS system and out into production is really the priority and where I've spent a lot of my time. Um, I've been with this company just starting my third year. Um, so I, I they, they had Infigo in place when I joined. I, I'm coming from a Percero background. Okay. I ran Percero sites for seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. Um, which is really that they're all B2B, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, um, it's been, uh, man, Infigo is, is, has a lot more features, which was great. It's, it's a, it's, there's a lot of system there to play with. Um, but we have like, we just brought up a customer who does a lot of, um, wide format foam core boards and we have our site set up. So they get on, they place an order for 30 signs for a store. Um, they hit print. I've set up all the product restrictions, everything that can possibly fill out a ticket, you know, I, I, you know, affect the ticket in, in Tharstern. And uh, when they hit print, uh, we, that order is sitting, it comes through Infigo, through the API into Tharstern. I have it automatically sent in the JDF and the files down to our wide format department. Nice. So the files are sitting uh, ready to go in less than five minutes. And all we're really doing is printing tickets. Wow. That's wow. it. Wow. Nothing else is being touched. So max e efficiency, right? Which is, that's that's the look we like. The less touches, the more money. So um, that's how we, that, that, you know, that's our goal when we're setting up new sites and building out all these products and these things is to really how how, how quickly can we get this through the shop without without any touches. So a little different from a B2C world, right? So um, that that's that's so when we have 10, 12 sites mm. up on Infigo right now, 10, 12 departments. Um, okay, I mean, before I um, ask you my next question, I'm gonna stick with yeah. the thread that you're on because this is really interesting. So you've mentioned a, a very efficient automated workflow between mm. the Infigo system and the Fast and MIS. Was that already in place when you came into the business or were you part of that implementation? I was part of the, they, when when I started here, they were just starting to implement Tharstern. Okay. They were, they were on a, Avante, is that it? I think that's yes, Avante. So I came in um, in October and we went live with Infigo to Tharstern in January. So I, I I had to learn two systems <laughs> uh, yeah. quite quickly 
So, um, yeah, we worked with um, Alex and uh, the folks, the devs over at Tharstone to kind of get those, that, that whole thing set up and, you know, how, how to put in the product codes. And it was a little bit bumpy, but uh, <laughs> it ironed out pretty good. I think what people don't realize is that that fluidity between and the, the integration being as seamless as it mm. is now, once you get it all working and talking like you have. Yeah, yeah. That that takes a lot of man hours and, and the developers at both Tharston and Infigo have been working on this for years to get yeah, that yeah, yeah. to get that right. And actually, that, that's really good to hear. Um, I was going to say as well, is there any other kind of plans for the future to increase the workflow? So you said the job arrives um, as a ticket and it's been through in five minutes. What, mm. What's next? Or is there plans for the next steps of that workflow? Yeah, I'm always like, uh, that's why I love Infigo Academy so much. I can get in there and uh, I, I really like what uh, Sam's doing and, and those yeah. things you guys are doing out there. Um, you know, that's my shopping center, really listening what's coming. Like, like I see Chameleon coming, yes, um, yes. W- which is already available. I, I'm, I've, I've got a bug in the ear here because I'd love to be able to uh, I think that's the one thing customers like when we're pitching a customer um, and we show them a cost for a fully branded site, they're like the the air comes right out of them, you know. So so I feel like they're almost settling for a department. Mm. But with with a product like Chameleon, it's kind of that middle ground where we can now brand a department. So when they log into their department, at least they feel like they're home. Right. And they see all their Mm. stuff. So that's a good piece for us. Um, So I'm hoping by the end of this year quarter three that may be in place Mm -hmm. but um down the other side what other features just 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 on that just Mm. for the the value of what we're discussing here and for people that may not know what chameleon is chameleon is attracted to you because you know in in essence you're not having to create a whole new storefront for your customer right you're you're adding a skin based on when they look at that site or they use that site, their brand is shown as like a skin, hence mm. the word chameleon as in the reptile. And therefore they don't need to, to, to invest as much as, as they would do with a full storefront, but they still get the personal look and feel and the branding on it. Is that, is that the biggest thing? Yeah. 100%. Okay. And that's really, really important uh, to our to, to an end user. Uh, you know, feeling home and ease of use. So um, being able to place an order quickly yeah. Um, and easy uh, is important. Uh, I, I think uh, sh- they struggle a bit, our franchisees. Mm-hmm. A lot of our customers, because they're logging into the B2C world right now. And, you, you know, I'm, I'm actually working on some, some new site designs because they're not able to see, like, all they have to do is scroll down and they'll see their department, but they don't. They're clicking on the top nav bar. So so that initial experience right now is a little clunky for them. Sure. So I, I, you know, we need to make some changes on our end so they can visually see where they need to go. Yeah. Uh, and we're planning on doing some tips and tricks videos as well. But getting them into their department <clears throat> cleanly is, uh, is, is important. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and once they're in there, that, you know, it's, it's a pretty easy go, you know, so that, that part's nice. It, it should be. That's, that's what we're trying to do. I think we're trying to make it easier mm-hmm. for you to onboard your customers i think the b2b model makes sense for psps yeah i think yeah. the b2c we welcome that obviously but it's a lot of work and it's a very different mindset um b2c works very well accompanying a b2b um catalog of, of of customers the other thing as well and you may have seen this on the academy but there's there's some really good features now where you mm. can spin up storefronts through without any coding or any development yeah. And uh, you know those sort of functionality should speed up yeah. the time for you guys to, to yeah. add add customers to your platform. You talking about the content templates? Yes. yes. Yeah, I've been yeah. in there. I just actually yeah. last week started kind of learning those out on the yeah. platform site. So I've jumped over there and I've started kind of working, playing around with that stuff for sure. So yeah, I'm on that as, as well. So any any API adjustments or, or new, you know, my, my ears perk up when I when I see those things come out. I mean, I'd love to see, I, I know you can do it. Can you do it? Like, like multi ships is a thing we can't do yet in in figo Mm -hmm. so it's one so if i have a customer that has five business cards shipping five locations they have to send five individual orders Mm -hmm. there's no there's no ability now i know in presero 
how they remedied that was they put their shipping addresses on the line item and not just a so every line item you could select a shipping address mm. um, so that that would be a cool thing to see i know that's huge dev stuff though <laughs> you know um, i'm staying quiet I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. I get what goes into this stuff. Yeah, so, I, yeah. you know, I, um, I, I you know, know. The only thing, you know, as well is, I, I don't know, have you, have you explored the shipping, the shipping partners as well? Because we, yeah. we connect with some yeah. very good shipping partners as well. That's, that's worth it. Yeah, we, we we're looking at, um, again, this is probably later in the year, but Easy Post. You yes. connect with Easy Post? Yes. yes. And um, I've worked in ShipStation as well. I don't know how how that integration is with you folks but easy easy posts look pretty cool uh, yep. that's definitely something we're, we're looking at because you know i i want it like right now we and this has nothing to do with infigo or anything but um our communication with our customers post shipping is is kind of meh it's not that great yeah. so the yeah. easy post offers that webhook based branded uh tracking numbers that automatically go out and you know so our our end users which which is an important piece can can track their product um, and easy so. post offers this this network which is unbelievable mm. across the world in terms of shipping partners that you know if you wanted to expand your business at any point into other territories you know where there's mm. challenges with shipping they they really can offer you a, a solution so um they're a great partner for us to work with and, and yeah. we hear, hear that a lot in in, in the us um that, that people like yourselves are reaching out we you obviously you're focusing on b2b which is great and we, we <laughs> always recommend that as a good part to sort of start your projects and, and build yeah. the platform of your business. Do you look at any B2C projects at all? Is this something that you are um, you have on the horizon? Yeah, I mean, our our main site is is a full B2C site, which was built okay. before I came here. So um, yeah, that capability is in place. He's just starting to market it and um, the ownership, uh, which, so it hasn't really produced a lot of work for us hardly mm -hmm. any i mm -hmm. think since i've been here i've maybe seen four orders come through so um you know that's that's an unmarketed site so uh, we haven't spent a lot of time on it but it is there um it's no it's no vista or it's no moo.com but it's uh it is it is there for for general users to create an account and buy some stationary product or whatever um but you know you don't market it you don't get you don't get a lot of traffic you, you don't and mm. i think you know just from our experience those that that make it with the b2c space they they have to invest up front like like you say yeah. and it's really important that you have the automated workflow behind it yeah uh, we, had, we had one customer i think that was uh shared a case study with us in in north america and they were making profit on a on a hundred dollar hundred dollar order just from automating and yep. you know you know if you think about a hundred dollar order you know really and all the different touch points like you said earlier on yep. in this session and once they automated it end to end they are realizing profit so if you're realizing profit on those smaller orders then the b2c right. stuff becomes worth worth the, the hassle yep. right so so what we're doing we we just started an in initiative january one of this year and it's We've seen over the last few years, our smaller customers, less than $500 a year, less than $1,000 a year, we're not making any money on those. So we're, we're, we're gonna push them out to the storefront. Um, if it's a static product, I can load it up for them. If not, we can supply them them files. We're actually pushing them out to Infigo mm -hmm. to have them start placing their orders through the storefront. So we gain those efficiencies and hopefully start making money on on those orders so we're, we're trying to get those manual orders uh out of our system and out push push them out onto the site as the gateway in wow okay so that's quite refreshing to to know mm. as well so you're you're looking at even the smaller the smaller mm. customers and you're giving them a rolls royce well we call it rolls royce or a tailor-made sort of solution as well yeah um what what's the plan for you in terms of um b2b b2c mix going forward do you plan to add another b2c site do you plan to focus more down the route of the b2b platforms and like you said chameleon or is it a mixture of both uh i think the b2c is where it's going to be i don't think he's going to be adding any if he were to add another b2c site it would be for probably for a specific product 
that he's maybe trying to sell or um, I think the B2C is where it's going to be and, and where it sits. We're, we're, we're going to be really pushing the B2B scenarios. Now that may look like, you know, what is that package? We could have the base package, which is a department the way we see it now. And then maybe the middle package will have the chameleon skin on it. And then if you want to, if, if, you know, we land a, a big franchise and they want their fully branded site, we will go and build that fully branded site. You know, okay. the, the, the marketing folks over at we do his other company, I mean, they're, they're full web folks, so they, they can get in there and just code out, uh, you know, the, our current site was all done by the, by the we do folks, all the B2B stuff was done by me, but, um, that B2C look and feel that that was all them. So, um, okay. We do have the tools to get in there and, and, and build the package that our customer wants. Okay, brilliant. Sure. So you okay. mentioned Sam and, and the Academy and it was mm -hmm. great to receive some positive feedback on that. Thank you very much. Can you share a little bit about your experience with um, the team here at Vigo from sort of onboarding for support, um, you know, general day-to-day -day interaction, anything that, you, that stands out that you, you'd like to talk about? Yeah, for sure. Uh, living in this world, you you deal with a lot of customer service stuff, um, and I'm not blowing sunshine up anybody's butt, but uh, Infigo is probably the best customer service I've ever dealt with. Um, they are responsive. They're knowledgeable. Um, Rowan is fantastic. Hannah is fantastic. Stephen is fantastic. They're um, they're thorough. Uh, if I'm wrong, they tell me I'm wrong, and I like that. You know, it's like, you know, I mean, it's good. It's, um, yeah, you, you should. You don't want to go down that road. <laughs> All right, well, you want to go down this road. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, which is are cool, they telling you you're wrong in the sense that they're trying to help you make money, or yeah. they're trying to tell you you're wrong because I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just starting. You know, I know you're, you're going to be discontinuing designer. Yeah. Uh, so I've been hammering invent over the last few months and i'm literally in the process of converting every single template we have out on our b2b sites to invent just so i can stay ahead of the game so uh i have a lot of questions especially when it comes to the logic and things we could do in designer and can't do uh and so a lot of times i'm like ready to put in a ticket i'm like feel kind of stupid asking this question you know <laughs> uh, so, but I'm, I'm pushing them in there and, and they've been great they've been they've been a great help so between infigo uh um and their their academy and then the, the folks uh, behind the scenes i mean i i can't imagine the amount of tickets they must get so uh yeah especially yeah. from folks like me i think really it's a, it's a trade-off i mean the more you grow as a company the more you're going to yeah you know, uh, create that. I think I've seen um, the tickets change. It's not really the number, of, the volume of tickets or the number of yeah. tickets. It's more yeah. what they're about. I think um, I think the, the key thing for us, as you keep mentioning, is Sam and the Academy. Mm. You know, if we empower our customers to have the tools and, and the ability to learn on their own time and, yeah. and the comfort of their own home and or watch a video at their own speed, they can stop it, pause it, try it. That, that's good for everyone you know yeah. um so i think um yeah you know we're very lucky in the sense of we really enjoy what we do um mm -hmm. we have a re we have an, an amazing product that's you know evolving and then when we try and explain that to people you know you buy an infigo platform you know one day and then within a week it's already improved and evolved it is constantly yeah. you know, growing and changing so tickets help shape that yep. evolution yeah. And um, we kind of embrace them as a positive, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah. I think um, what I was going to ask you is like, what what do you think we could do better from uh, from your point of view? Uh, is there anything we could do more of or less of that would help um, you? It's that's a good question um, because it, what it boils down to is, for me, it's it's the advanced stuff like i'm not a coder i'm not a dev guy i sit in on all those um seminars the the, the advanced seminars they've been doing yeah. um but i mean i'm like deer in the headlights in a lot of those meetings but i i want to hear it i want to understand it um so i'm i'm a i'm a you know i'm, I'm a graphics guy i, I grew up in pre-press uh and just was pretty good on the computer so plugins like invent are important for me that, that okay. way you have this ui and, and it's doing stuff in the background um 
like the conditional logic stuff. I've always I've worked in XMPy for a while, mm-hmm. so I, I'd like to see, and I think I've, I might have put a ticket in. A, I, I'd love to see Sam do more advanced, like logic tutorials. Like mm-hmm. really, like I, I'm about to put in a ticket on a, a note card that you guys helped me with with Designer. It's a really weird thing. Uh, and I'm not sure Invent can do it, <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm gonna put it in and see what they, what they say. But uh, I, I know that product is still growing, um, mm. Mm. but uh, you know I, I don't have a lot. I think you guys are on your stuff. I mean, the, the, the communications are, are good and quick. Uh, like I just got one this morning on the email issue you guys are having. Yeah, you know we're using our own email stuff, so it didn't really involve right. me, but. But I mean, that was a pretty fast. You guys found out, you know, last night and this morning I have an email, so yeah, that, that that's yeah. good stuff. Um, Thank you. I mean, that's that's you know what we we want to do. It, it's in our interest that, again, you know, we want your your system to be um, working as the best it can work. We want your customers yeah. your customers to be happy. We want your customers to be making money. We want yeah, you to be making yeah. money. It's in our interest to act quickly and efficiently and yeah. give you options. I think the email in question there was an option A or option B, and I think we were trying to say, mm. look. You know, you've got two routes to take here, and I think you were an option A in the sense of you already got your own um, yeah. supplier, so you're cool. But that, but um, that that's really good to know. Um, I think what I do is I would take your mm-hmm. your indirect message to Sam and say, "There's a request here, Samuel. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe you could uh, have a go at putting something together." What? Um, I've got a couple more questions, if I may, Mark. So. Yeah. What are the sort of the long-term goals for Italian Action Group? Where, where, where would you like to see um, the business go, and then how would software um, fit with that growth? Well, if if you know, I have to kind of you know my idea, my 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 vision isn't what the owner's vision is. So for me, I I really have to understand the vision of what. The owner wants to do with this company, and I got It's my job to kind of try and fulfill that. Yeah. He's very, very focused on franchises, and 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 that's that's a that's a model we have never seen in the commercial print world, mm. uh, because there's a lot of one-offs. You know, uh, you know, the customer needs one of these, needs five of those stickers. They need a window cling. You know, where sure. where in the commercial world you're used to printing forty thousand books, you know, or or a right. hundred business cards, or so. We've had to kind of adjust our thinking a little bit here as a company and how we want to take in these orders. Um, excuse me. Um, so, if franchisees is the way he's going, that's that's where I need to kind of how do we present and build and sell these storefronts. Because that's a, I mean, that's really every demo we have moving forward, and Figo is going to be the main player in that thing, right? You know, and that's what's going to sell. You know, I have to believe we're up against other systems. Sure. Um, so, in order for me to to win that that bid, um, you know, we we got to be able to basically demo these sites tooth and nail. Mm. But that that's that's with it. So so you know, building more B two B. Sites is really going to be our focus, and and getting those orders efficiently through three softwares is is going to be key. So any API updates uh, are, are more than welcomed. Like notes, I, I, like if someone writes a note in in Figo, that doesn't come over to Tharstern. It just sits back, and so now we have to, you know, if if, if it gets missed in the SPO and the ticket, and 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 you know our CSRs have to look at the ticket and. In um in Figo, and not just the ticket in Tharstern, uh, which is what they're used to doing because there are notes. I had one yesterday where there's a note they, <clears throat> they the customer ordered a brochure and a, a sell sheet, and then in a note they said, "Hey, I ordered some business cards a, a month ago. Can you re- place a reorder for those?" I don't know why you just didn't order it <laughs> when he placed this other order, but 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 that note does not come over to Tharstern. Mm. So little API updates like that would be would be mm. great. Um, ship methods don't come over to Tharston now. We only use e- UPS right now, so um, we know what the ship method is. But if we had out on the site FedEx, UPS, or DHL, or whatever, 
that information would not come into the the sales order. Ship methods don't don't pass. Okay. So those That's those are the you know we can deal with them and we're we're cool with them. But you know as a future update that would be that would be nice. Um, okay. Multi ships creating um, pre shipments. I mean I I understand that this is a marriage between you and Thorstein. So what I'm talking okay. about here is is you guys you know those two dev teams getting together. And I know there's dev dollars that have to go into that stuff. Um, but yeah that that those those so any of those little updates. They just make our life easier, and they, they, yeah. they literally get tickets through the shop faster. Uh, yeah, and it's interesting what you're saying about um, franchises as well, because mm. we actually see our system used a lot in North America for franchises, and I'd probably say that's one of its strengths. When I talk to people yeah. at trade shows, I say for a franchise, it's it's pretty well okay. set up. And then if you think about it from the point of view of managing those print jobs centrally, like you guys are, you know, you could manage, yeah. you're going to have all the different uh, locations spread around the states and they can all come mm -hmm. into one workflow, for example, and then you can manage it, you know, so I would suggest that's a conversation we could take offline. And yeah, if, yeah. That's, if that's a route you guys are going to go, we might better help you with some, some tools to help you pitch that. Um, but there's some big American mm. uh, brands that we're working with that are franchises and big I, neon I printing, I think is one. I sat in with Greg. <laughs> That's one. I was going to say yeah. another, which is to do mm. with, um, to do with um, pets, but I will um, I'll mention that okay. one off offline if that's all right. But that's fine. The, the, yeah, po yeah. the point yeah. I'm making is that the system, yeah. a lot of its core functionality is already set up for you to just go out there and, and configure um, yeah. a, a storefront for, for a franchise. So um, there's definitely people here that can help you yeah. pitch those conversations. Oh, that'd um, be awesome. Yeah, and absolutely. And there's, and obviously you're you're utilizing a, a product that you have, and and that's why why we we suggest you guys go down the B two B route. Before telling Action Group, Mark, talk to mm -hmm. me about your journey. How did you how did you get here? Oh wow! All right, deep. <laughs> I'm getting elderly here, so <laughs> I'm getting older. Um, I was. I've been blessed with an art talent, so I was born with it. I could always create from a little kid. I never went to art school, um, but I can. I could draw, and I and I, I could draw to a hyper realistic level. Okay. Um, so I had this creative background. Um, so I had won a graphic arts award in high school, and uh, one of there was a family there for their daughter uh, and he owned back then was a pre-press house um, so back then we would airbrush we would uh, you know hand cut silhouettes so uh, he approached me and said hey do you want do you want looking for some, some summer work I'd love to hire you and bring you in blah blah, blah. he hooked me for sure <laughs> uh, so that's how I got into the the print industry I started in a, a pre-press house because I had an art talent um, and then from there, I just kind of went up through the ranks. Every time there was some some sort of technology, uh, I I try to get on it. So it went from mass cutting, and then the huge page layout systems like Cytex systems and DS yeah. systems back in the day. And then from there, you know, the Max came in, so I jumped in on the Max. Um, and then I started managing prepress departments, quite large prepress mm -hmm. departments, thirty million dollar printer, you know, forty people in my department. Um, but still, even in that, stay, staying on top of technologies. Um, and then when, when you know, kind of 2008, everything kind of dropped out. Um, and PDF really became, when PDF became the main file format and the web technology started getting really good, you, you kind of saw this marriage of web to print start to blow out, you know? So building you know, giving customers the opportunity to order their product online yeah. is big. So what I love about, I mean, really our storefronts are this, they're basically an online anytime print resource center. So the one thing we can't control is how customers give us their files mm. if they're emailing. So there's a cost that goes with that. We have to open them up. We have to pre-flight them. Are they RGB? Are they, mm. are the brand colors correct? Uh, we don't want that. We want to, We want to be able to go through, and this is one of our selling point with franchises, is we go through the, all their files, and when we upload their files up 
onto our Infigo storefront. They are branded, repeatable, good to go. So what you're returning back to your franchise is they don't, they don't have to run around their shop looking for what file is, what folder is that file in? Where's this job? Where's that cling? Where's that sell sheet? Everything is 24 seven. They can log in. It's all, they know it's all branded. So when we print and ship out to 10 different locations, uh, you know, the CEO of that franchise can visit those locations and they're all going to match. So that's, that's big. That's huge. So we, you know, these storefronts and in Figo can offer that brand protection and that yep. that's a big piece. You know, we have all your products. They're here. You're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Uh, you, you know, they have the confidence when they order each, each one of those products, they're all going to look good and, and, and they know they're going to print. There's no low reses any of that stuff. So that was my journey kind of, I kind of jumped in on the storefronts. I started in 84 in this industry, uh, in probably 2010 is when I started kind of really jumping in the web to print the storefront was being my main focus. Okay. And then I was at Procero for seven years, building those sites. And then I came here and, and that was my introduction of Vigo two years ago. Nice. Okay, and obviously being a creative at heart, yeah. the, the invent plugin is is um, yeah yeah going to be pretty amazing for you. I mean, we we yeah. we have this this sort of status that we use, and we reckon it saves about eighty percent on hmm. time in time, you know template builds and things. But I think yep. Yeah, Where for sure. you, you validate that that's, that's good yeah Where, yeah i was a little on the fence like yeah. so for, for most of what we do in b2b um every customer wants a locked down form-based product they do not want franchisees or users at another location being able to click a text box or click a window or move this or move and so the mega edit i couldn't use the, in its form. So when I started learning Invent, and I had a lot of conversations with Rowan about this, I really needed to lock down Mega Edit. Yeah. So it, it was really kind of just, and the look and feel of it. At first, I was like, mm, 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 mm. it's not clean enough for me. You know, I really yeah. liked the designer, but once Rowan and I got through all the settings, and, and I love it now. It's way better than what it was before. So exactly, uh, and, and the customers love it now. Uh, yeah. Every time I bring up, like I say, I'm swapping out all these uh, designer templates for invent templates. Uh, they're like, wow, this is way better. <laughs> it's way cleaner. Yeah. It's a lot bigger and brighter. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, I love it. I, I really, I'm going to be, you know, you know, it's my goal to be the um, really kind of the invent guy, you know, so it's, yeah. it's important that I learn a lot, of, a lot of the. Um, and here's the thing, Mark, that being, being, you know, Adobe, we're now working with potentially a, a, a Adobe infrastructure in the future, you see. So yeah. is that the fonts take... thing? Sorry? Is that the fonts? Adobe fonts? Um well I was thinking more of the Adobe App Store. That was where I was gonna that's okay. where I was yeah. going with this conversation because mm -hmm. I think that's where the vision is is to take it to the Adobe App Store so it would be downloadable and, and you know self-managed and it, it's oh, nice. really it's yeah, it's exciting where this can go, but people like yeah. yourselves, you know, we need to to work, you know, work with us to tell us what what works, what doesn't work, feedback, yeah. and we can. But you can see the passion behind it is is pretty yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think there the are little is, areas I think can use improvement um, for sure. The, the reg expressions are a little a little off right now. I'd like to yeah. see a, a little better experience in there. But um, yeah, I'll throw my Brilliant. two cents in. <laughs> That's good. No, 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 and, and we welcome that because you know. It's, it's those kind of two cents that mm. help us polish and improve the, the wider um, product and, and it's we couldn't we couldn't make it what it is if it wasn't for that input. Um, the other thing I was going to ask you and it's probably pretty much my final question really mm -hmm. if you were um, if you're talking to a, somebody similar to yourself and they said oh, you know I'm thinking about getting web to print and I'm thinking about Infigo, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? uh run no <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, print print is a fickle business man i tell you yeah yeah i i would i would i would certainly i think the main thing is i would first ask them what are your systems because 
inevitably you have to connect all these systems and the the bigger cleaner connection between you know it's it, if you're just having a storefront and you're going to be taking those orders manually off of the storefront then absolutely you have this but what is your mis system what is your print management system what is your output system and and can you know what kind of connections do all of these you need to pick your systems so based on their connections because in order for us to make money in the print business today, you have to have efficiencies and the manual touches just rob the profit. So uh, I haven't got any other system running as clean as the one I have now. I'm telling you, like we have these orders that are coming. If we could go ticketless, uh, I'd, I'd have orders out the out the back door before the CSR or the salesperson even knew the order was in. You know, <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're that close and we have two big clients um, when they place the order in Infigo, it's in production probably before that person even gets up out of their chair. It's just sitting in these hot folders. It moves that fast. And, and I wow. just giggle about it when I look at it because that's the ultimate goal here. Right. Um, so that I, I would I would, you know, tell someone getting just getting into, you know, look at look at those systems. Um, and Figo offers the most bang for the buck though. I have to tell you, I've seen all the other systems. Um, there's a lot there and, uh, you know, the fact that you guys work so tightly with us, it's nothing worth the, the thing I, you know, I, 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 I don't ever like comparing to, but that's where I used to live, you know, well, can do this. I would never say that stuff, but. Their customer service is just not even close. That's the most important thing. When, 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 you know, I feel like I'm part of your team, you know, to, when I talk to Han, I want to talk to Steven, when I talk to Rowan or whoever, um, Stuart, I think is another one. Um, it's, 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 it's good stuff. I, I, I really, and I've, I've told Greg this too. I'm really, really, really impressed with your customer service team. They're, they're fantastic. Really, really good. So, and that's important. So, um, and I didn't know that coming into Infigo. You don't never know no. that. You know that part of it until you experience yeah. it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that that's um, um, yeah, that's what I love most about it. Okay, yeah. Mark, you've been fantastic. You thank you so much. Yeah, it was great meeting you, man. For your I'm time. Glad to call. Thank you also for your input from a creative standpoint. Yeah. That's quite refreshing to hear. Yeah, anytime. You know, somebody coming at it from a creative point of view. Um, we yeah, will. Uh, yeah, I'm no developer, so. <laughs>